Let me show you a really cool trick to make it so that your shoelaces never come untied, but will always come untied when you want them to. Hey there, welcome to Getter Flight. I'm Joshua, and today we're going to be talking about shoes and why you're probably tying your shoes incorrectly. All right, so the chance is that many of you who have been tying your shoes for years are actually tying the shoelace knot incorrectly. If you look at these two, one is correct, one is incorrect. Can you tell the difference? It's super subtle, but makes a profound impact on the performance of the knot and whether or not your shoes stay tied. I wanna show you how you can tell if you're tying these knot correctly, how to fix it if you're not, and then I've got a little tip at the end that really makes shoe tying awesome. Uh, it's a, a, a quick little knot that you can add to the shoelace knot that allows you to keep your shoelaces tied all the time, but it's super easy to get out. No double tying of loops or laces, no knots to pick through. Super simple step that you can add to your shoe tying that'll make it so the knots, the shoelaces never come untied. Let me grab the other boots so you can see the laces a little bit better and I wanna show you the difference between these knots. All right, so I'm gonna tie each of these boots and I'm gonna see if you guys can tell the difference between the two knots I'm, I'm tying here. All right, there's the difference, can you tell? Look at the way that the loops go. So if I take the lace here and I pull, these loops stay parallel to the other part of the laces. And this one, if I pull, look at how the loops turn perpendicular to the laces. This knot here is incorrect. You're tying the knot wrong. So for me, in the way that I tie my shoes, when I go, and when I wrap the lace under the loop and push the second loop through the top, that's when I, I'm doing it incorrectly and I get the perpendicular. So I had to retrain myself to go over the loop and come up from the bottom. That's how I get the horizontal and the parallel loops to the rest of the lace. So if you tie your shoes and you find out that you're tying them wrong, you're getting the perpendicular, go ahead and just change the way that you wrap around that loop and see if that fixes your problem. All right, so I found a really cool graphic that shows you based off of which lace you start your knot on, which lace you loop it on, and how you loop around it, um, whether or not you're tying your knot correctly. You can tell just by looking at it and pulling on this, if it goes perpendicular, it is incorrect. If it goes parallel, it is correct. But this little graphic that I found, I'll put a link in the description down below, shows you how you can alter it and at which step to make you tie the correct knot. So now that we know whether or not we're tying the correct knot for tying our shoes, let me show you a really cool trick to make it so that your shoelaces never come untied, but will always come untied when you want them to. All right, so now that we determined that you're tying your knot correctly, you're getting that horizontal pull, and your loops are going horizontal versus vertical, which is incorrect, you want the horizontal. Um, now I wanna show you the little trick to add to the knot tying that will make it so these, not, these laces never come undone and are super easy to get undone. So even if you're doing this on a daily basis, untying your shoes every time like you should to preserve the heel, um, this is the way to go. So you're gonna do the overhand knot like usual the first time, except you're gonna add a surgeon's bend. So you're gonna go through once and then go through a second time. And what this does is add just a bit more friction between those laces and it keeps it a bit tighter right here. Now we're gonna go through, we're gonna make our loop just like we would normally, and we're gonna pull that through to pull the other loop. So normally we just pull tight like that, right? Well, now we're gonna do a second surgeon's bend, but with the loop. So now take it and come out just a little bit more and make a surgeon's bend through there, and then pull that tight. And it'll work a little bit. So you've got a surgeon's bend on the overhand knot and a surgeon's bend on the loop knot. So you've got two surgeon's bends on the knot there. And what's awesome is that there's so much friction on this knot that those are not gonna come undone by themselves. But at the same time, you know, a lot of people will tie, double tie their lace, their, their loops of their laces to make it so it doesn't undo. But then you have to untie the loop to, to pull out the knot. Well, the cool thing with the surgeon's bend, two of them on there, is that you can just pull one of the tails 
and the whole knot comes undone just like normal. So it's a normal shoelace knot tied correctly, but you're adding the surgeon's band on the first part and the loop part. And by adding that friction on both spots, you're gonna make it so that your laces never come undone, unless you want them to. Now this is definitely gonna take some getting used to. I imagine most of you, your shoelace tying is uh, second nature. You don't even think about it, you do it. But if you're tying that first knot wrong and you're getting that, that vertical loops, you gotta switch it up. Just doing this, making it the horizontal pull, will make your shoelace tying stay together much better than performance than you have been having. But go ahead and add those surgeon's bends in there and it's gonna make it awesome. You're never gonna have to deal with untied shoes again. And this will work on boots, it'll work on gym shoes, it'll work on dress shoes. It doesn't matter the thickness or the style of laces. Adding those surgeon's bends to that knot, that's the key. All right, so again, we're gonna do the regular knot here, except go around a second time. Make your loop, go around like normal, come through with that loop, and go around a second time. Then pull it all tight, and you're good to go. Well, there you go, guys. Fixing your shoelaces so they don't come untied. Super simple process. One, making sure that you're tying the correct knot and getting the, the knot horizontal. And then two, adding in those surgeon's bends to the knot on both steps really make it a bomb-proof knot that does not come undone. It'll drastically improve your life in so much as you're not going to be tripping over uh, shoelaces and if you teach your kids how to tie this knot from the get-go, you're going to set them up for success for the rest of their life. If you found some value in this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, and uh, check out ganderflight.co for all of the other tips and tricks, life hacks, DIY projects we're doing, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care and pay it forward.